Every year the LMB welcomes a few summer students to work in labs and uh, this is also part of the scheme from the Postgraduate School of Life Sciences. And today we're going to meet a few of these students and we're going to start with Dino, Dino Alexander Jensen. Hi Dino. Hi Can there. I ask you a few questions? Of course, of course. Um, so um, to start with, why are you doing a summer internship? <laughs> so I'm doing an internship at the LMB because, um, I mean, throughout the whole pandemic, I couldn't get any practical experience, you know, from my studies. And I was always wondering how ideas that we have translate into actual reality, into experiments that we do. So um, I was looking around and it was, seemed like a really good place to do that. I'm doing an internship here mostly to gather some lab experience. I haven't had the chance to um, work in a lab like this and have my own project in my undergraduate degree because I'm only, I have only a second year student. Um, and it's a really good experience, a op good opportunity to get to know all of these things um, and how to operate them. To gain exposure into a real lab and actually see what it's like to be working every day in a lab because of the last year with the pandemic, it's been quite hard to get that experience. Well, I really like science and I would like to do research in the future. Spending the summer doing, doing a project um, really full time is, is amazing. I'm doing a summer internship in order to get some experience in a lab and figure out whether it's something I want to do in the future. And why did you choose the LMB? Molecular biology was invented here and my um, PI was very kind in explaining my project over email. I mean, it's a very young institute, it's very like, young PIs, um, a powerhouse of expertise and um, cutting edge equipment. I thought that LMB is pretty much world class research and it will be a great experience for the future. I think I've also had friends who recommended this place to me and said um, people here are very nice and very helpful. And how did you decide to come to the LMB? Um, because recently I've become more interested in structural biology and the LMB is, well, I'd say the best place to be. Um, it's the top in the field. I kind of knew I wanted to be in Cambridge, so I just went through all of the different projects that were happening in Cambridge. And then I was interested in someone that was working at the LMB and then I saw the studentship scheme and then it kind of went on from there. Right, so you applied through our summer internship yeah. programme. What particular project are you doing in fact? Actually several things um, at how cells respond to stresses and in particular um, misfolding stress of proteins. And it's a very interesting field because you look at how those huge networks and huge, um, very complicated pathways are regulated and fine-tuned. I'm in the cell biology department and we're working on circadian rhythms, looking at them in cells. Um, so at the moment I'm learning about um, tissue culture and keeping cells alive and then we'll be looking at circadian rhythms and the timing mechanism in those cells and also what else goes on. I find my project particularly interesting because of the circadian rhythm aspect. I've been interested in the brain for quite a while and that kind of led me down the route into circadian rhythms and then looking at them on the cellular levels is also quite interesting. So right now I'm working on, um, I'm purifying histones and we're going to do nucleosome reconstitution. So my project is I've got a highly structured piece of mRNA and I have to purify it and then I hope to assemble it into a complex in the ribosome and then view it in the cryo-EM and determine the structure of it. And why do you need to do that together with the ribosome? What, what kind of information are you hoping to get? So the significance of it is the structure of the piece of mRNA. It's got, it's rather than a straight linear chain, it's got a big loop in it. And by looking at the structure when it's in the ribosome, then you can see the, like, how the loop affects the translation of the mRNA. There's this protein called Abu13 in um, C. elegans, so the whole, work, whole lab works in C. elegans research. C. elegans is a nematode, it's, uh, it's a very tiny worm, um, you can't really see it with your eyes, but it's a very helpful animal, animal model 
um, and we are investigating, the whole lab is just kind of doing investigations on neurons and I'm particularly focusing on this protein and how does it actually interact with other proteins to form um, special structures in the cell. And what do you think is going to be what you take home after, after you stay here? <laughs> um, that's a very good question. So you, you can have all those ideas and um, plan an experiment, but it may never go as planned and that actually can be a very good thing because you discover new things, you um, come to new conclusions that you haven't thought of before, you know. I think I've already learned a lot having been here for four weeks and um, it varies different things. So probably the one that's most important, I would say, um, is how to conduct my independent research. So this would involve me trying to design an experiment and trying to come up with hypotheses and trying to see if there are alternative explanations to my results and then to conclude um, and to draw some kind of summary um, from my, or what I see from my experiments. What true research is like rather than just being an undergrad and then Obviously, because I'm in Venki's lab, in particular, I'll learn a lot more about the ribosome and all of that associated with it. But I think it's just an experience to prepare me and to see if I like the lab. I hope to gain um, lab experience from this summer project. And I think that's especially important now uh, after COVID or during COVID, um, with a lot of practicals being cancelled. But I also hope to uh, learn from different people, um, PhD students, researchers, um, just from conversations and hearing about their research. And uh, outside science, what's your interest? Outside science, my, um, my free time passion is badminton and uh, I'm quite involved. Uh, I've been captaining the badminton team for a year now and doing, doing it again. Um, it's really a lot of fun. I'm a surfer and I get quite interested, I'm quite interested in politics. I love to travel, um, cook and I'm also a bit of a musician <laughs> so I have to go to concerts and play. I do judo and kickboxing. I'm also part of the air squadron at my university. I'm a pianist so I've been playing piano since I was four. So <laughs> I watch a lot of movies and TV series. Also trying to pick up ice skating again. What is the most interesting thing that you've done so far? I know it's a short time you've been here, but any particular thing you've done that you thought, oh wow, this is so cool? Um, probably um, learning to do, or learning to work with electron microscopes. Um, I think that's the, the most, been the most exciting for me, uh, being able to see these structures. I've been doing some injecting, um, injecting CRISPR mixes. I think that's, that's, that's pretty cool, isn't it? It's literally you um, poke a glass needle into a worm's body and then you try to um, modify the embryos that's, in, uh, so that's uh, um, carried within the worms. Um, so you get offspring with special mutations that you've designed. What is the coolest thing I've done so far? I've only been here like a day or so, but I guess just growing cells <laughs> is the coolest thing I've done at the moment. What are your future plans? Oh yeah, you haven't asked that question before. But um, to do a PhD probably, and then to work in um, either science research or innovation. For my future plans, I'm not quite certain, but um, hopefully this will help me figure out what road I want to go down. My hope is that I could probably get onto a PhD programme of some sort. I'm only in my second year, so, and I've got one year left, so I need to decide soon but yeah, I'm looking for a PhD. I would like to go into academia, so hopefully a PhD and then further on from there. I'd love to do a PhD and then hopefully stay in academia because um, I really love the environment.